Prime Minister Alan Shastny believes that the Pigeon Island National Landmark is one of the attractions that can generate significant revenue for the St. Lucia National Trust. Chair Alison King recently stated that the organization lost some $800,000 of income from April to October 2020. The trust must now find innovative ways to attract visitors to heritage sites amid the COVID-19 crisis. The conservation group is being forced to cut wages and implement layoffs to survive in the pandemic. Chastney called into the Radio 100 Outgoes In program on Wednesday to share his views on the situation. I think that Pigeon Island is a very good example of a site that can generate, I think, a significant amount more money than it possibly can. So, you know, even just yesterday we had, I had a meeting with them. Um, I, I know that they're working with the events committee in terms of trying to create an amphitheater that can maybe have more regular shows that both the local public and also tourists can go to. Um, and I think that the revenues that could be generated from those activities will not in any way con conflict with the Pigeon Island as a historical park, um, but would generate additional revenues which can help them develop some of the other sites that they have that may not be as commercially viable. The withdrawal of the conservation group's state-backed subvention had not made the situation any better for the trust with over $700,000 off the table. Chastney continues to defend the government's decision to terminate the funding. The idea of this subvention is very clear. I mean, the, the monies that we were giving to them were for capital investments, and, and, the, and the, the state remains very committed to doing that, but was certainly not funds to, to pay for the recurrent expenditure. We think that the trust has had a significant amount of time to get its business in order, um, and it ought to be doing that. And it does generate the money. Obviously, it was hard hit this year um, because of what's happened to tourism, like many of the other businesses in St. Lucia. And we certainly are, are have, a, have a dialogue, an ongoing dialogue, to see if we can help them in that regard in this, in this interim period. But certainly we want to see a commitment from them um, to develop some of their sites and to make them more commercially viable. The Trust has reached out to the Prime Minister for financial assistance and the two sides are currently in talks. There has been tension between the group and Chastney over a number of decisions taken by the current UWP administration, which the group believes jeopardizes the environment and the country's patrimony. The Prime Minister is hopeful that the trust can explore other means to generate revenue. Our trust is not the only one that has struggled with that problem. Um, it's a perennial problem. Uh, this conflict between conservation and development, very difficult balance to be able to find. So um, I'm hopeful that uh, the trust um, will... Uh, open their minds and open their ideas to developing some of their sites and to do it in a way which still has allowed them to, to meet their conservation um, uh, um, goals. A number of heritage and cultural sites worldwide have closed down due to COVID-19 lockdowns and measures. The pandemic has forced conservation groups to brainstorm new ways to make money, attract visitors and stay afloot. Joachim Duplessis, HDS News Force.